Welcome back, everyone. A new dance performance is inspired by stories of people who immigrated to America and were processed at Angel Island. It's called Within These Walls, and Lenora Lee is the show's creator and choreographer, and she is also artistic director of Lenora Lee Dance. Welcome to the show. Thanks so much, Michelle. First of all, congratulations. It's amazing because for the last 12 years, the, uh, your dance company has been around and been very successful. Yes, we've been plugging away year after year, and we're, we're extremely happy to celebrate this this year, our 12th anniversary at Angel Island. I know, and what a great uh, subject to talk about within mm -hmm. these walls. You know, we just talked about the experiences of people who were detained and processed. Mm -hmm. Why is this story so important to tell so many years later? Yes, so we actually created the original piece within these walls in 2017, and we received such a tremendous response. So many people were moved by the fact that we were dealing with this, um, talking about the 1882 Chinese Exclusion Act as the first piece of legislation that limited anyone from another country uh, from immigrating to the United States, and it basically set precedent for anti-immigration laws to come. And so at that point, uh, we felt strongly that this was uh, our opportunity to represent our voice as artists and as citizens um, in being able to talk about the issues in, re in relation to the immigration issues we're dealing with today. Yeah, it's a, it's a piece of history mm -hmm. um, yeah. that also helps with the present. You know, you collaborated with a lot of people, with dancers, composers, mm -hmm. poets. How did you put that all together? Well, they're longtime collaborators, so it's been fascinating working with saxophonist composer Francis Wong, who's based in the Bay Area but is also an international artist, a poet and playwright Jenny Lim, who was instrumental in compiling and translating the 200 poems that were inscribed on the barracks walls um, from the detainees who were detained at, for much longer periods of time mm -hmm. because the Chinese were excluded at that period. And I've been working with Olivia Ting, she's also a San Francisco native, um, on the media design. And she brings an incredible um, visual element. We've mounted seven projectors and are um, projecting uh, historical documents, photos, um, just a collage of information that really feeds into the narratives of the piece. So there is also a sequel, Dreams of Flight, yes. mm -hmm. and you call both pieces sight responsive and immersive. That's correct. That I mean. So for the last five years we've been working on immersive work and that's in my response to asking the question how deeply can we connect with our audiences? How deeply can we connect as performers with other folks? Um, and I found through immersive work that this is really the avenue uh, because we, what we're doing is we have a cast of 12 and we're staging the performance throughout the two-story barracks and the surrounding areas. And so um, basically there are multiple narratives unfolding simultaneously throughout the building and the audience members have the opportunity to follow whichever characters they choose to follow or get drawn by. Mm -hmm. And so there's constantly um, interactions and departures, interactions and departures at various locations throughout the building. And it's really, mm, so, to, so to speak, a choose your own adventure type of uh, experience. And because we have so many components interdisciplinarily, there are lots of layers to the narratives that are unfolding. And so um, we got such an incredible response. You know, people said that you know, there they learned more about the Chinese Exclusion Act and about um, this particular period in history in relation to the current day in that one hour performance than they have going to different museums and trying to understand the subject matter that way. You know, you're talking Angel Island. Mm -hmm. How do people get there? So they can catch a ferry from Pier 41 on the Blue and Gold Fleet to um, Angel Island or they can catch the Tiburon Ferry, which is the Angel Island Tiburon Ferry Company. They have two options, um, and then they can either ride a shuttle from the dock to the station, or they can take a walking path, which takes about 25 minutes to, to the station. I mean, it's a great journey even before you get to the performance. So. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. It is a journey. It's a, it's, a, it's a wonderful outing. You know, there's lots going on on Angel Island. There, people sure. can barbecue. They can hike. They can bike. So you could consider it a day-long outing, if you like. Sounds great. Lenora, thank you so much for coming on the show and telling us all about it. Thank you. All right. Remember, within these walls, it will be playing May 4th through the 19th at the U.S. Immigration Station at Angel Island State Park. And for more information, go to LenoraLeeDance.com. Coming up, Bowl of the Planet when Bay Area Focus returns in just a moment.